A vision for 2050, engaging the students of the future. Are we here to teach students or are students here to learn? John Abbott asserted that the schools of today were designed to teach students. As we move into the future, it is important that we change our ways to create environments that will facilitate active student-centered environments that promote learning and engagement. According to Abbott, we need a whole new way of doing things. Technology that is dominated and controlled by the end result will have students missing opportunities like a teacher that is overly focused on a lesson plan may miss a teaching opportunity. If we take a moment to reflect on past predictions of our future society, you will likely envision gleaming technologies and shiny new gadgets. Technology is no doubt important, but our future is not predicted by predicting technological development. Education will evolve with technology, having a prominent place as a tool that helps to produce a more engaged student-centered educational experience. Students will be engaged in activities that rely on multiplayer online games. Chris Deed, professor of learning technologies at Harvard Graduate School of Education, envisioned students in the future being immersed in online game activities that would have lessons integrated into the games relevant to traditional subject areas like math and history. This rich online virtual environment will support active learning in which students learn to do by doing instead of a more traditional teacher-centered design. In the future, mobile computing will continue to grow. School networks will evolve to be more open and students will be permitted to learn anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Computing power in mobile devices will be much greater. Once true, high-powered, reliable wireless access exists, mobile devices will become the medium for delivering most educational data applications and services. By using mobile devices more in education, students will be engaged in rich media that will lend to greater engagement in comparison to traditional lecture or paper-based teaching. As we move towards 2050, there will be new changes in technology and pedagogy that will fit together hand-in-hand -hand and lend well to engaging students. Immersive virtual realities, holography, retinal screens, eyewear and other technologies will be an important part of the evolution of traditional classrooms into virtual studios. Assessment will also be changing away from traditional assessments to becoming more performance and portfolio based. As classroom environments evolve and become more digitized, we will also see students are free to collaborate with peers globally. Educators and parents often separate play from learning. Creativity, imagination, problem solving, group working skills, and academic achievement are all going to be increased in the future by integrating more fun into education in the form of playful learning. New learning solutions that integrate games, storytelling, and play with serious learning goals will be common. Another change that is happening now and will continue to grow in the future is the idea that people don't need to know everything. Students will engage in contextual learning in which they find the new skill or knowledge that they immediately need on demand when they need it. Contextual learning happens both at school and away. In fact, it can occur absolutely anywhere. Students will be encouraged to both contribute and discover relevant information from various applications, for example, Twitter or YouTube. The future of the future will have new reimagined roles to match the highly engaging and student-centered educational system. Teachers will no longer be the administrator, teacher, and tutor. There will be learning agents that have a focus on learners' experiences. Learning mentors will focus on particular discipline areas. Learning fitness instructors will get students' minds and bodies fit for learning. Assessment designers will create unique assessments to measure and communicate what has been learned. Looking back, today's system will seem chaotic. Learning will be shared by all and everyone will play a role. With the future of our school is looking different, we will see changes to the key competencies that are seen as the most valuable for success. Digital competency and using ICT effectively will be important for all. As our world continues to get smaller, languages will gain importance. Students will need to be flexible and able to adapt easily to changes. Assessing, evaluating, 
Sifting information and thinking critically will be valuable skills. It will become more important to manage and process information and knowledge. Students that have self-confidence, self-esteem, and can learn to do by doing will be successful. Finally, communication skills will be of utmost importance. Of the key competencies of the future, the importance of those related to ICT should not be underestimated. In our knowledge-based society of the future, there will be new competencies and new skills related to ICT. Digital competency means to not only learn to use ICT, but to master using it. This will be crucial. The student of the future will have greater responsibility for their education. As students grow older, they will have greater responsibility for charting their educational path. Students will need to plan and implement their own learning with limited external influence. Students will be engaged in doing and in turn learning rather than simply listening and reading.